to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 118. Round of applause. Please. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. How much fun are we having? We are on tour right now. The past three shows we've had, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in Chicago, all fantastic. Round of applause for those three cities right now. But to those of you who are not at the shows, and if you're new here, if you don't already, you look below, you see the subscribe button isn't pressed, you're off. If you give it more below that, you see the comment section are fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more on going, fill that out. Get your good karma. If you, we have a couple shows left on tour. We have Phoenix, Vegas. Houston left on tour. Let's bring all the energy. Everybody that has left at YSK show this summer has left being like, wow, I am glad I came. So do not miss that. Get your exclusive tour merch at each show. If you want to get a ticket, tickets are available now. Link in the bio. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. I feel like we can do it. I know we can do it. We have the best fan base. We have the best family in the world here on YouTube, on Spotify, on Apple, on Discord, on Patreon, on Twitch, on Facebook, on Snapchat. We love you guys with all, 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 all of our hearts. Genuinely, I mean it. We appreciate you more than we could ever express. The best way we can express it is coming here every week, giving you the best possible episodes we can, fulfilling your weeks, and then when we meet you in person, giving you all the hugs and smooches we can. We love you. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. We got co-host Cam! Back in, in the, the studio. studio. You got applause today, buddy. Hey. You got applause today. Uh, yeah. I want to let you know something. My face is on your garments. You are on my garments. For the audio listeners, you have to go over to YouTube, but I'm wearing a hippie shirt and it has your pelvic region as you, well on my my, on my, sh- my screaming face with a patch in my beard. Yeah. The word hippie. Yeah. And then a literal x-ray of some hips. Yeah. This was given to by us uh, by a, given to us by a fan in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, yes or no? How much did Philadelphia hate Cam? <laughs> Philadelphia had some beef with me. I don't know what it was. I swear on everything in the middle of the show, we're talking right. I give Peyton a little a little friendly little friendly quick stiff jab. Yeah, right. Yeah. Someone in the crowd goes, "Hey, fuck you!" I said, "What? A, what?" I was like, wow, they, they love Peyton. No, yeah. They it, hate it, me. They hate the white man. It, it, honestly, well, it's about time the tides have turned. You were like, this is not how it's supposed yeah. to be. I said, it's supposed to be reverse. You Sorry. are honestly getting too comfortable. I called you cross-eyed and black last Yeah, week. you did. Well, you didn't mean to, but I didn't you mean did. To. I, was, I was meaning to say a crossed agent and black eyes, you know like the, snake eyes. The black. thing is, as I know you, we know you in here. We know you have a good heart. The world doesn't. They don't. So the there's just going to be, there's one day, and I hope it doesn't happen, there's just going to be clips of you making all these little jokey jokes, and then you're going to be called up to that podium, and you're going to have to make a speech. And I'm going to say, to hell with what they say. I can have my own opinions. <laughs> I can't. I'm just can't. I love Peyton. Olivia. Selective. <laughs> Ever, no, no, no. I love everyone. I love everyone until you give me a reason not to love you. That has nothing to do with <laughs> He's like, and you're breaking in my car. <laughs> yeah. When I have to lock my car when you walk down the street. All right. I'm, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. I'm good, kidding. God. How before, are you doing? I'm okay. Do, I, well, good you, morning to before you. Before your fat tongue speaks. You like my fat tongue. Let your fat Sp- tongue's warm and wet. Hello. Good morning. Menu's on the table. Anyway. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and ask me first. I, I, I soiled your moment. Ask me it now. Is, You're pissing me off. Is Cam the worst person Ask in the world? Ask it, Ishka Pickle. <laughs> Ask it. Who? Ishka Pickles. Ishka Bipples. Wherever the hell we were supposed to get a Philly cheesesteak from, we didn't. Yeah. They didn't put they cheese should've. on my Philly cheesesteak. I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, so. That's your fault. That's I your got fault. a Philly steak. That's your fault. I'm not going to lie. It's your fault. You hit. No, it's not. You hit no. No, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You hit no. No, it's not. You hit no. No, it's not. You hit no added cheese. No added cheese. That means, what does that mean? No added cheese means there was already cheese on there. It means don't add cheese. No added cheese. But the literal section you clicked at in said select your cheese. And you put no, no added, added cheese. cheese. It's because it came. But the per- it had every cheese under it. So you didn't choose a singular cheddar. The prereq was provolone. The prereq pepper jack. The prereq mozzarella. The prereq American. You didn't choose anything. Whiz. The pre. It feels like I put chapstick on the back Your of my teeth. Your tongue is fat, and I love it. I'm here for it. The Let pre. Me see that thing. The prereq. The prerequisite. That was hard. 
hard word for Elmo. The prerequisite. Oh, you got to stop. I'll say it for you. Ready, set. The prerequisite. I don't know if you said it better. I'm saying it better. You're going the prerequisite. The prerequisite. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The prerequisite. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. Ready? You go. I, I cover your second base, and then you go right back to it. Here we go. Ready, set. We've gone to second base. The, the, prerequisite, the prerequisite. That was good. He, he's saying it wrong. No, I'm not. You're saying it wrong. The prerequisite. Prerequisite. The prerequisite. He's messing me up. I'm not going to lie. Am I saying prerequisite? The pre I, I am like a little <laughs> You're boy. You're having a stroke. <laughs> I do sound like a little boy. The prerequisite. Dude, man. Man. All right, come on, come on. Lock in. Do you ever have drunk tongue syndrome? What? Do you ever feel like you got a sloppy tongue? I think when I am blasted off my ass, I can talk better than you normal sometimes. And I don't mean that in a hard way. What kind like of harsh. drunk are you? You know what kind of drunk I am. You're not an angry drunk. I'm not, but I'm very Caucasian when it comes Super to drinking. Super white. Super Caucasian. I'll, I'll stand up in the corner, one hand in the pocket, other hand just holding that brew, holding that mixed drink. I'll start talking about your grandparents, yeah. your financials if you want to. Yeah. And then it just kind of eases off. But I also mean that I can hold a lot of liquor before it hits it, me. It, you, you're like so Caucasian to the point. Like if I didn't know you and I met you drunk, I'd be like, his wallpaper is a declaration of independence. <laughs> his name is Thomas. 100%. Thomas, my background. Never nope. Mind, never mind. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm just going to save CJ some work. Nope. Yeah. No. So. Nope. What, so what kind, of, say it sober. what kind of drunk am I? You are a lovey drunk. I'm a lovey drunk. You are a love. You are a love maker, love bird. Your bird feather. I'm not a love bird. maker. You are a love maker when you're drunk. I want to hug you a lot. You touch me. Well, I touch you sober. I'll touch you off the wake up. You touch me more when you're drunk. Good morning to you. I, you I, say, you say, bend that ass over, hands on your knees. Now shake that ass for Peta. You shake that ass for me. That's what you say when you're drunk. And oh my God, you take a sip right before you go. Bend that ass over. Hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Peta. And I'm sitting there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. Oh my God. Yes or no is the best soul in the room whenever we're drunk. Ruby. Yes or no? Oh my God. Oh my God. Ruby her is like a, a beam chest, of light. Her chest starts to smell better. Well, her eyes are. Just, I don't what? smell your dog's breasts. I said chest. Where's her breasts? Her nipples are down there. And she's Does got she eight have of them. nipples? She has eight of them. I don't think Ruby has nipples. I think motherhood would be a bitch for Ruby. She is small. It would be her last day. Oh, yeah. God bless her soul. Did you ever see Ruby's mom? She had one. She did have... She, she wasn't spawned. I, Someone didn't spend five gold and just pop her out. It wouldn't surprise me she was made in a laboratory. Dexter's. She's like, oh, no. <laughs> basically, when Liv went to go pick her up, yeah. this cute little Chawini turned the corner. Yes, man. She's like, oh my God, that's her. And the, the dog person was like, no, 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 that's the mom. Mm. Come here, Sasha. That was Ruby's name before. Ew. Name Sasha. Sounds like a stripper. Yeah. No offense to any Sashas in the world, but when you know my dog and what she does, and then couple up the name Sasha. I know some good look. Sashas. So I've met a couple. I've never met a, a bad Sasha in my life. Stop winking. Good Stop morning winking. to you. Anyway. I've never left a Sasha like Stop. A, 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 Stop. and been like regret that one. Never. No, too much. Okay, sorry. I was talking about like a friendly hangout. <laughs> Y'all are so dirty. <laughs> We're. I just said I've met Sasha. No, Sasha. <laughs> no, he can't talk. No, it's a hard day. It's a hard day, guys. Hey, one eighteen's gonna be a bitch. It's a hard day. We are. Oh, jet lag. <laughs> Oh boy, he cannot speak. Anyway, Sasha at the time turns the corner, about that big. And Liv was like, oh my God, she's so cute. Yeah. She had nipples then, very small though. But Ruby. Now as a grown woman, Ruby, yes. Mm -hmm. Her nipples go yeah. down. That's where they are. That's where my dog's nipples First are. First time I met Ruby, I said that might be the grossest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. It, she looked like... Every time you saw her for her first year of life, it looks like she just fell out. She, she, like she was just born. You, her eyes are always a little squinted. For some reason, she was wet often. I don't know what it was. That might have been a... I don't know what it was. Every time I saw her whenever she was first around in life, first came to the earth She's and said greetings, I said, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> is a malfunction on somebody's part. That's a mess up. Uh, and my dog is a mess up, but we love her. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode of You Should Know is brought to you by Booking.com. Booking. Yeah. It's finally time for summer travel, and we cannot be more excited. Booking.com offers so many possibilities across the U.S. for all the travelers you want to be this summer. As you know, we're on tour right now. We're going all over the United States. All over. I'm looking forward to leaning into that side of Vegas. Oh, my God. Get into that little slick city life. Ooh. 
Thank God for Booking.com. They make everything so simple. As you know, we're going on tour. We're going all over the country. All over the country. I cannot wait to lean into my little city slicker side, going to Vegas, Woo! walking down the strip, seeing all the Chewbacca's and street attractions. Oh, my God. nice uh, Bellagio fountains. I'm here for it all. I love the fountains. My favorite part of Vegas is the fountains. Booking.com's wide selection of places to stay across the U.S. makes booking whoever you want to be this summer so easy. From spacious villas for your bachelor to bachelorette party to bed and breakfasts for your summer road trip, there are so many great choices on Booking.com. What are you waiting for? This summer, you can book whoever you want to be on Booking.com. Booking. Yeah, book today on Booking.com. The You Should Know podcast. Do you like me when I'm drunk? I do like you. You like me more when I'm drunk or when I'm sober? I'd say almost. I, obviously, I love you when you're sober, but there's never there's never times where you're annoying when you're drunk. Some people can get annoying yeah, quickly. Yeah. You when you get drunk, it's like your your walls go down. Yes. The bridge goes over the moat. People are allowed in. Goes you. over where? The moat. Is or that is the mo the moat. What's a That's moat? That's a thing, correct? What's a, a moat? moat? A moat around a castle. Is that a biblical term? <laughs> no. Uh, well, there's water. There used to be waters around castles and cities and stuff in the moat. Something about castles doesn't sit right with it me. It would keep. Something about castles. I've always been like, are we are we being serious? Castles are a real thing. There's still castles now. Did they, they have to pay property taxes on those? I don't even know if taxes. I would assume taxes have always been. No taxation before representation. Hello, castles and moats, bridges and goats. There's a there's water around. She the had castle. a strong head. What? <laughs> she had a real strong scalp. Who's the one that had the hair? Who the, the hell are you talking about? The one in the castle. Tangle. I don't know. Rapunzel. R sure, the ginger Would one. Would you climb a broad's hair? I've done it to before. To <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. Stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're back already. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Would you climb 30 to 45, maybe 100 feet of hair just to get a smell of that Rapunzel? I feel like you belong you in prison in if you would do all that. I feel like you could have taken the stairs. God, for, let us not even try to imagine you in those times. You would be f***ing insane in those times. <laughs> How? You'd have a little coin sack. Your shirts would have like holes in it. And you'd just be running around. But then all of a sudden, someone, some princess would just gaze upon you, right? Oh, God. I and love a good gaze. you'd literally be like this. She's up there, right? So this is before braces. I love a good gaze and the gaze. So you would turn, you'd be like... <laughs> and she'd look, you'd be like... He's quite strange, but something about him is making my pheromones just go. And then you'd start crawling and shit. You'd climb up towers. So you'd be a creep back then. You'd probably be, you'd probably be a, if you were clean yes. back then, you'd be royalty. Was anybody clean back then though? They didn't have baths. If you were clean, yes, they, all bath is water. I feel like, I feel like the shower was invented. Shower, yeah, they had baths. Baths don't clean you. They literally would get buckets of water, heat them up. Bathe. You'd heat up the bucket or the water? The bucket, which heated up the water. So you're sitting in a hot bucket. You're not sitting in the bucket. That's a bath. I didn't say they'd get, you know, a bucket <laughs> is the bucket. A bath is big. They'd get what they'd fetch water. Why didn't they just heat up the water? <laughs> okay. Because the, the, the heat, the fire, they're not going to put you over a, a, a damn bath over a flame. They're just going to heat up the water. Your servants could pour it on you. You could sponge it out, rag it out. I would have been the servant. I don't think <laughs> no, I would have been. Have, no, you wouldn't. You could have been royalty. If you were if you were this tall back then, first off, that's like plus 10,000 aura. Yeah. In oh, my God. Then if, you have, if you have the beard yeah. and a tail, yeah. oh, my God. I don't think my tooth enamel is where it's supposed to be. <laughs> what? Right I, now? As I'm sitting here, it feels like something's falling out. Like, every time I, I like... Do that? I oh feel like God. I'm wait, losing wait, something. Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 look at me. I think your gum's inflamed. I think it is. Wait, on that side. I think it is. I'm not kidding. I am in pain. I'm starting to get headaches. <laughs> it's, oh my God. No, Peyton, Peyton. No, no I need to go like, somewhere. No, it's like the, it's this, it's like the. Oh, the inside. The lips like, it's like oh. going in. It's like this. It's like you're chewing. Are you chewing on it? It's the nervous twitch. Don't be nervous. I wake up with a lot of blood in my mouth. You do. Mm -hmm. Your breath in the morning yeah. is that of of colonial, like people, <laughs> George Washington. I, we talk about this a lot. On a plane, my breath. It is bad. I don't know what it is. It it's is bad. sick, bro. And, and the, the amount that you sleep on planes <laughs> is remarkable, first off. I don't understand it. You can sleep like the entire flight yeah. without any, you don't have a neck pillow. Yeah. You didn't have music playing. That's, that's borderline like 
sociopath. I'm raw dog in the skyline. You're raw dog in a three hour flight like this, and you just go. <laughs> You're just asleep. I watched a whole movie. Yeah. And I turned to look at you. You were still knocked out. Yeah. Oh my God. But then you woke up and your hair was shit because you were leaning on the thing. It looked it looked like you got like struck by like an axe. But you still yeah. survived. And the worst part is like either the flight attendant wants to talk to me. Oh my God. What was her name? She was so nice. No, not her. Oh. The one on the way to DC. Jen. <laughs> Jen? Good God. Jen from United Jen, Airlines. Jen, if you're seeing this. Jen from United Airlines. <laughs> Stop. She handed me extra food. She, I got a whole cheese and fruit tray. They were from, great. What is her name? She was so nice. I never got she it. She's the boyfriend. Yeah. And he's going to send shoes. I got it because I was awake. You, you were got dead. It. I was dead. You deceased. were dead on the window seat. Can I say something Go about us? It. I think we're becoming less of friends. <laughs> what? I don't think we're where we're supposed to be anymore. That's not true. I think That's we're- That's internal. No, I think it's You're a you thing. You're wearing my face on your chest. I, because it's not a me thing. Your Robert Downey Jr. is me right now. Look at how much I have to overcompensate to feel like we're still where we used That's to be. That's internal. I miss 2018. <laughs> I love 2018 needs to rot. No, I'm saying if we go back to 2018, no. No, where we were, friendship-wise. Incorrect. Where were we? We were no. a be good place. We were a very good place. The best place. None of this. No, no, I'm talking about just friendship-wise. Take where our friendship was 2018 bring it here. You're starting to branch off. No, I'm not. I think you're starting to look. You, you, have, you have wondering eyes. <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, oh, I got you. It's like looking. it's like you used to depend on me a lot. Okay. For fellowship. <laughs> hey, that's the word. I depended on you. And let's it, break that down. I think it's your wife. <laughs> I think it's not my wife. I have a I wife. I think you're starting to love her a little more. <laughs> As I should. But not just She's my wife. wife. Get it. Great. Sure. Wife won. That's the problem. <laughs> no. Wife won. Wife always won. I two. Ruby, three. You love that hound that's gonna be gone in two and a half years. She, wh what do you think her life expectancy is? I, she seizes when she sees me. She does. That's she not does. right. <laughs> no, wife she turns one. into origami when she shits. It's not right. Wife one, family two, you three. If we go Ruby, back, Ruby like four. We've filmed every week for like hundreds of weeks. Hundred weeks. <laughs> I was gonna say we're we're at one eighteen. That's a lot of time. That a is a lot of film. Yeah, we can go back, and I'm pretty sure you've made that list before, and I was higher up on it. You're three. Do you want to be? Do you think you deserve to be higher than my? Am I higher than your family? Than your brother and your mom and dad? Am I higher than them? If you say now, yes, if now, you say yes, you have problems. Now no. Okay. No no. I was in 2018. Mm -hmm. She loves me more than your mom in 2018. Yes. Whoop his ass. No, the they would, if there's somebody with a gun and they're like, <laughs> no, that's sick. No, I do feel like you're l losing love for me and no. it's starting to affect my mid. Oh my God. It's starting to affect my mental health. Then first off, just open up, buddy. But you're not there anymore. I am you're, a call, a drive, anything away. No. First off, you never pull up. And you put timestamps on our calls now. No, you're I You're like, don't. I gotta no, go I watch. No, You're boosting You don't have like Bridgerton. You're, I love Bridgerton. You That's have a good to. Show. That's a good show. No, and, and no, 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 because I'll call you and I want to talk. I want to vent. But you don't. Oh, my God. Because oh my God. you're not a, there for me anymore. No, I'm not. You call, you say one thing, you start blowing me kisses, tongue punching my fart box through the face. And you used like, to open up, you used to show me that little, that little blue knot. And I used to blow, I used to call it names. I used to be like, look at Janet. All you do now on the phone is you make monkey noises at me. <laughs> That's you. you ch <laughs> I'm going to go to jail one day. It's going to be 85% your fault. 15% mess ups on my words, 85% conviction from you. We call, I will be on the phone forever. That's not true, Ken. Hey, bro. When it hits a dead point. CJ's agreeing. When it hits a dead point. There used to never I be a am, dead point. You used to want to talk to me. You don't want to talk to me anymore. Doing so, first off, you know, because first off, y'all you, you used to say I would be the one that would just linger on the phone. Exactly. You, and you don't want to anymore. So because you used to make fun of me for lingering. Now that I don't linger, you're making fun of me for not lingering. We make fun of each other. That's what we do. I love you. No, you don't. You, no, you don't. You, you use me. me. No. You use me. I use you. You use me. You're for what? Like, I don't know, but you do you for like to you. You're like a toxic girlfriend. You want me to be there, but you don't want to treat me right. Are you what? Nuts? I am gonna find somebody, and then you're gonna see me on dates, movies. I'm gonna. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let there be another Marvel movie come out. Let there be any thing that we used to share close to each other and you're gonna be like Peyton I want to go with you and I'm not gonna be there anymore. Literally the second to last movie you went to go see was with me. That's not true. That's very true. What was it? You oh, I, I can't say the first. Planet of the Apes? Yes. 
That was two movies ago. No, it wasn't. I saw Fall Guys. With? CJ. Yep. And because and before that was what? Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. With us. I didn't go with you. I went with CJ and Ryan. And you came because we didn't actually want you there because you're not bullshit. fun That's to be bullshit. around That's anymore. Bullshit. I am so fun. No, to be you're around. not. He's different, isn't he? Yeah. He's changed. Y'all, Thank look, you. He, the second he's he said, changed. Yeah. Bro, wh- how am I changing? Dude, you're just not as friendly anymore. You're yes, just not I as am. open and inviting. You yes, you put I times am. on us now. I do not you're put- like, ah, it's not time. It's okay. So hey. I want to get off the phone because I was doing something or watching something, and now I'm a bad guy. Yeah, you're smiling because you know it's true. It's okay. No, I'm smiling because it's stupid. It's okay. I love you. I want you around. I love you more than you love me. Okay, let's go on a trip together, me and you. Okay. It's not going to happen. Can I bring my wife? <laughs> <laughs> it's my wife. That's fine. Okay, we've been on trips together. We went to LA. That's when we were friends. <laughs> we're still. It's okay. I'm just. I'm trying to vent to you because it makes me sad. No. Nope. Next. The You Should Know podcast. This episode of the You Should Know podcast is brought to you by Fume. Have you ever heard that the flavored air category is quickly becoming the leading alternative to vaping and smoking? It's a whole new movement towards better habits, led by the sponsor of today's video. Fume. Throw me that thing, Uncle P. Go ahead. Fume is an award-winning flavored air device. Flavored air is not like vaping. If vapor was compared to a sticky soda, Fume's cores are closer to like a herbal tea. Fume has lots of delicious flavors to choose from, like crisp mint, orange vanilla, and so many more. With flavored air, you can satisfy your oral fixation through passive diffusion system that utilizes zero electronics, vaping, or combustion. Let me remind you, fume is not a vape. There's no vapor. You can use it anywhere. There's no nicotine, so it's not addictive, and there's no toxic flavors. It's a guilt-free alternative. There's no batteries. You'll never need to charge it, and it looks awesome. Look at this thing, guys. This is this almost makes me feel like James Bond. And I know it. you like the fidget. It's, it's like a it's it's an amazing fidget. It's so sleek, smooth, good little wooden, wood grain grip. It's just, it is, it's amazing. Fume has served over 300,000 customers and you can be the next success story. For a limited time, use our code YSK to get a free gift with your journey pack. Head to tryfume.com. That's try, F-U-M dot com and use code YSK or scan the QR code that's on the screen to get a free gift with your order today. The link is in the description below. Now on to the rest of the episode. All right, to end that, I love you, you love me, I don't want to hear that bullshit. Words mean nothing, action means words. You're literally coming to my house tonight. Okay, I'm coming to see your dog. Anyway. Oh my God, so you love my dog movie. No, I have to, I have to. What's your sun, moon, and rising sign? (laughs) What's your sun, moon, and rising sign? What is that? (laughs) What's your sun? You don't know. What are those? Like, I'm not into astronology. (laughs) What? You're not into astronomy. That your sun sign represents your ego and motivation. Oh, it's hot. While you're, <laughs> you go, it's sunny. It is a bright you go, day. It is 112. Okay. My pride your is Your sun up. sign represents your egos and motivations. The, your moon sign governs your emotional natures. Dark. <laughs> Dark and cloudy. So much moonlight. <laughs> you go, it's sunny as shit in the day. It is dark at night. Werewolf and hours. your rising sign speaks to the energy that you put out in the world. Smelly. You don't know any of them. Is this a multiple choice? <laughs> They're like, oh, thank you. Do you know what you are? Do you want to do a test? It's like a waxing way. Do you want to find a waxing wibbis or a women? What is it? A gibbis. Gibbis. No. Gibby. Women. You want to do a test? Sure. Let's test it. I need to take a test. Well, speaking of the test, what this sped out for me and hopefully you, so you have no. You have no clue what you are. I don't know what's happening. Your first sign is an Aquarius. It is said you are to be intellectual, creative, independent, and inspired. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. I can't swim, though, so I don't know about aquariums. They can, <laughs> Fish is they, they they call can be social, but only when they want to be. Damn, this, this is, is good. I might believe him Aquarius now. Aquarius is the 11th sign of Zodiac and the last air sign. So it deals with air-related concepts from a broad perspective. Let's take a break. Am Some- I... <laughs> in my <laughs> avatar? <laughs> Some say Aquarians are innovative, progressive, rebellious, and humanitarian. You like to give back and rebel. Is that right? 
<laughs> I, okay. Your moon sign, second one. Your uh, your moon, right? Okay. It says you're a, li a balanced Libra moon. Am you, I taking a test or are you telling me something? <laughs> I'm telling you and I want to see if you agree with it. Oh, okay. See if it feels yours. Oh, sure. We can throw some questions and in there. I, 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 there. You said a test. It's a was... short prompt. Well, this is the test, but it's you don't really It's not answer. a test if there's no question. It's more of a you put in when you're born and it's going to tell you how you All right, are, good, I, don't, good. I don't know about that. Okay. Your emotional ups and downs are rare. Your discernment- That's not true. <laughs> I am all over the place. It is like if you take a paintbrush and go, <laughs> you, go you don't know what the fuck. Your, uh, your discernment is usually the magic tick. You have ticks, <laughs> now you have a disease. I have explained the itches. You're typically balanced and at peace with yourself. That's not true. That's just not true. I'm sorry. Okay. There's so there's no balance. Frequently being a source of your own comfort. <laughs> no, God, I need uh, external oh, factors. But like you a often pleasure yourself in a comforting way. <laughs> How do I know that? On to the next one. You are Heather. You resolve internal and external conflicts quickly to maintain your mental balance. Oh, that's a fact. You have a strong balancing effect on your environment and those around you. Yeah. Identifying lack and knowing how to fill the void. No. <laughs> you go, there's a big void there's that a, bitch has been open. That void is, that can, that has, that holds galaxies in that void. <laughs> Last one, based on this, your personality report is, you're a best seller. Author? What the f what is this saying? I'm a cook? I'm not a cook. It's asking me to buy something for $14.95. This shit's a scam, dog. This is a scam. Okay, can I say something? Let's can hear I, it. I just scraped my elbow. You what? Can I, my elbow. Okay. Can I, can I say something? Let's hear it. Do you believe in these? I don't. Because I'm a man of Jesus. <laughs> I'm a man of Christ, but <laughs> why are they somewhat accurate? It scares me, right? It, it does. I've had a first date with girls. Okay. The first question has been, when were you born? And I tell them, February 16th, 99. God bless you. Oh, hello. And then they say, what time? And I said, really wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. They're like, what time? You know the doctor's name? I'm like, what the fuck? And then so they they tell me, what is your, your moon? And I said, thought there was only one. Are we on Tatooine? <laughs> Don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Vader box <laughs> behind you. I'm sorry. And and oh. and so whenever they start breaking me down like this, I'm like, I'm a ermin being. I'm a I think these are very broad. But and then they give me rocks to touch. But <laughs> she's like, touch this hand with this. It'll open up your toes. What are you saying to me right now? My shoes are tight. And I go along with it because like if this is what will help me. Hey, I I I'm trying to find the last one. We're gonna find your thing. We're gonna find your thing. My moons? We're gonna find what your rising. What is a moon? We're gonna find your rising. But what does that mean? I don't, it's the moon rising. There's a sun, moon, and rising sign. You got all three, I hope. Yeah, tell me about my sun. I need to know okay. my sun. No, you already got the sun. Okay. The sun, we already got your sun and moon. Hot sun, cold moon. You're a creepy guy. Here we go, last one. Your rising sign claims to be a Sagittarius. Say that with me, one, two, three. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. There we go. People who have Sagittarius rising are full of energetic enthusiasm. Okay. They love freedom and have a cheerful disposition. They are candidly honest, witty, generous, and flexible. You have, I have no, no flexibility. flexibility. <laughs> you I can't. are as stiff as a board. <laughs> you are so stiff. How do I know that? Again, Again you try we'll, to bend we'll me like a pretzel. Week. They are hilarious and lighthearted. They love traveling and look for new adventures. Don't like traveling. Also, Makes they me have sick. a natural ability for sports. They are spiritually or philosophically oriented. I am. However, they love food, drink, entertainment, and animals. Don't like food. Animals scare me. <laughs> Entertainment's here or there. Last one. They can feel, they can excel in education, art, music. On the negative side, they can be rude, ding, 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 self-indulgent, depends on the day, impulsive and opinionated. They are blessed with a tremendous amount of energy and great teeth. That's a f lie, there it is, he's not a s I honestly, I swear to God, it's okay. That too. I honestly oh. have good teeth for how I take care you of do, them. But dog, that's not a good sentence. Do better. Do you brush once or twice a day? Do you brush once or twice every other day? I've been. Let me. Can I be vulnerable and honest to the boardroom here? Oh my God. The whole time we were in D.C. and Philly, how long was that? No, trip? I was gonna call. I was gonna call you out. This. This. He asked me on the first day, hey, I didn't bring my toothpaste. Oh. 
can I use yours? I said, I left mine with Liv. She gets on the flight tomorrow, so I'm going to go get the boy's toothpaste. But then, it, but then it dialed in with me. I said, wait a second. I went to their room and brushed my teeth. He never showed up. And I just went, and I looked at him, because I was like, we were, we were traveling, getting in and out of Ubers, going different places, sound checks. But then it dawned on me late at night. After the first show, I said, okay, I still don't think he brushed his teeth yesterday, but we just performed. And I haven't seen him in their room. And I know he didn't bring toothpaste. Did you brush your teeth? You sick, gremlin, naughty, n no. Oh, what? what? I said naughty, gnarly mouth, boy, black. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry, TJ. No, okay. I didn't. No, you're on the, you're on the stand. I didn't brush my teeth. The you whole trip. I didn't. I didn't. I still haven't since. I still have it. I swear to God, I still have it. Let me explain myself, right? This isn't the first century. You have a toothbrush. I didn't. Every store has toothpaste. I didn't have a toothbrush. So that's the thing. I asked when I got there, I realized I didn't. When we got to DC, I realized, oh, I didn't bring toothpaste. I asked you to get the toothpaste. As you were gone, I went to the bathroom, my toiletry bag, and I normally have a travel toothbrush. A little bitty. Try a toothbrush. It's like me when it's cold. A little bitty. And so I went and I went to my toiletry bag to grab it. No. I was searching ball deodorants in there, deodorant, cologne, hair stuff. I didn't have a toothbrush. You have three different forms of deodorant. Yes. But you don't have something for your mouth? And our whole gig is speaking? Our literal job. There was so much fucking spit in your mouth just now. It was white. It was white and stringy. Sometimes it feels like there's hydrogen peroxide in my mouth. Dog, you, you might could use some. I'm not going to lie. At this point, it'll probably, it'll probably kill a couple things. Yeah, in there. I know. I will brush my teeth when I get home after recording today. Please. We just got home. Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday. At like 2.30. I just realized my shorts are so short. <laughs> My whole ass cheek is out. This is bad. Nobody wants to see that. Now you, <laughs> you said something when you were reading my amethyst. <laughs> you said something, right? You said something, and it reminded. Oh my god! I can taste blood again. Oh, you said something when you were reading my astrology chart. Mm-hmm. No. All right. Podcast. This episode of the You Should Know Podcast is brought to you by Kleenex Ultra Soft Tissues, your ally to help tackle your allergy symptoms this season. Uncle P, I'm not sure if you've noticed, man, but it is definitely allergy season. I throw, know. Throw those tissues. I know. I usually love spring, but I struggle with allergies, which aren't the most fun. Luckily, with Kleenex Ultra Soft Tissues, I can say bring on the blooms and face allergies head on. We're traveling around a lot, and you know I get sniffly nose when I travel. A lot of allergies. A lot of sniffly nose, sniffly nose syndrome. And I love to travel around with Kleenex Ultra Soft. It feels good on the nose. It takes care of my itchy nose syndrome, my runny nose syndrome. Oh, and Cam, you know how soft it is. It's like it's like rubbing your nose with a blanket. I love it. I'm obsessed with Kleenex. Kleenex Ultra Soft tissues are hypoallergenic and allergist approved. So Woo. you can attack watery eyes and battle runny noses without worrying about irritating your beautiful little skin. For this allergy season, grab Kleenex and face allergies head on. Now on to the rest of the episode. Let's go! The You Should Know Podcast. You said something when you were reading my ethology chart. <laughs> Anthropology. Expensive store. That's what they sell couches. Dre no. No, wrong story. Anthropology's store. clothes for women. Oh. Oh, yeah. Bracelets, necklaces, sandals, zabatos, dresses. Zabatos. That's some jeans. Those are sandals. Chanclas. 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 Zabato is shoe. Me gusta el pollo y las salmonicas. Me amo y te peten. No, you remember, you remember that was gross. You remember Pierce? He's like, dude, I totally know Spanish. I said, say my name is Pierce. He said, Yo soy. <laughs> he was talking he to me. He's like, Yeah, I did. He said, Yo soy Pierce. I said, That's not even right, but all right. Um, you said that I like animals. I don't. Exactly. And I've been, I was thinking, right? You were hit with a double lie at the end. <laughs> Good teeth like animals. Both, Both wrong. I have a question that I've been thinking about, and I want to bring it to you. This is frightening. Open your mind up. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna open my mind. You swallow. Do some. I keep seeing the f 
and spit. I'm not even, I'm not saying this for anything. It is like, okay. You know, you, you know fishes, right? Here we go. Here we go. Apparently they are animals. They are. There's, there's no apparently. Come to find out, the jury came back with their decision. Non-guilty. Yes, here we go. They say fishes breathe underwater, right? Correct. Through gills. Correct. The whole gill thing to me. That's their, we breathe above, we have lungs protected, we bring in the air, let it out. I think gills are bullshit. What do you mean you think a gill is bullshit? It doesn't make too much sense to so me. So then why, okay, but then why does a fish, how can it live underwater? And that's where I'm having my problem. What? Okay, let's break down a gill real Dude, quick. I think you're in the Illuminati. <laughs> I think, I think you're in the Illuminati. Because there's so many things you're trying to disprove. It's almost like you're trying to keep something even deeper away from us. No, I'm trying to figure some you things go, out. Fish aren't animals, pretzels are chips, gills don't work. You know, the whole time you're in a cabal. Every night when you go home, you put on a robe, you have a cauldron under your room. That's why he's not allowed in your room. You have a cauldron in there. You have the wicked book of the death. I don't know, but you're starting to creep me out. Okay, let's think about it, right? We can't under, we, they breathe underwater because they got cuts in their throat. <laughs> that don't make too much sense to me. We're, okay. We, listen to me, talk first, and then you go. Are not fish. I get that. Fish are not Hermans. I get it. We breathe above water. <laughs> They breathe below water. We have schools above. They have schools below. I didn't know they took algebra two. <laughs> I didn't know that. First of all, they take survival three. That's what. That's their class. Okay, so you're saying they got cuts in their throat, and there's water going in in there. Wouldn't they just explode at that point? Because think, where does it go after that? Is the water gunpowder? What do you mean? Would they explode? You fill yourself up with too much anything. It's a filtration system. Where does it come out? That's like you saying, if someone could just take a big enough breath, are they just going to bust open like a can of cinnamon rolls? No. Okay, you, <gasps> listen, we breathe air, right? Yeah. Put too much air in my mouth. Put a tube of air in my mouth, right? And I, I'm exploding. Okay, you're not a balloon. <laughs> exactly. Neither are they. So if you put, so explain to me how does a gill work then? There's water coming into the gill, right? Okay, I am not a marine <laughs> biologist. Let's start there. Then how however, do you accept it? However, <laughs> because it's a fish and every one of them lives underwater. Why do you question shit that is clear as Because I'm explaining how. How does it happen? I, it's probably an oxidation system. That's a big ass word and I'm not sure if it's a real one. <laughs> yes, it is. There's an oxidation system. There's telekinesis. And Are evanesis. you drunk? Is an like, there's an oxidation system, telekinesis, evanescence from the gills, breathes okay, water, explain it takes it. the oxygen, gives water out. Explain it. Water goes in. Water. First off. The gill opens up for the water. Off, it's like a, it's like a water fence. Does water contain oxygen? Go. Not sure. 100%. Yes, it's H2O. That's what the O is. Two hydrogens, one, one oxygen. oxygen. So I'm assuming, <laughs> right, regular guy, seen fish, all of my existence, never questioned. That's bullshit. I think they're fake. I'm assuming the water comes in, yeah. something cool happens, <laughs> they keep oxygen, and they just keep swimming. And okay. they go about their day. Where does the water go? It goes out. Of where? They are fuck they're surrounded by it. Okay. Yeah, have you ever seen whales try to eat some yeah. shit? Do, they, do they whales have gills? They op they have like mops or like brut cones. Holy shit! Teeth. Whales have whales a blowhole. Are, are whales fish? Whales have a blowhole. Are whales them. fish? Yes. Do they have gills? No. So there's different fish. Holy shit, you just figured that out? Did you have a, f a beluga whale in your fish tank when you were young? You had a turtle and a great white? Yeah, there's different fish. Goldfish, guppies, barracuda, piranhas, whales, dolphins, and sharks. I'm asking- Everything in between. I'm asking good questions and you're not listening to me. Some have blowholes. It's like a, it's like an ass on the top of their back. <laughs> they got a back ass. They come up and they go. <laughs> they, they got fart, a neck ass. Get some air and go back down. They could probably get drunk as a skunk. If a human was a sick bastard one day, just popped a Corona right in that blowhole, that fish is gonna be like, oh, just going crazy. Listen to me though. Sh slow down. You speed up. Fish, right? Little name, like not, what name a fish? I'm gonna close mine. Name a fish. What's a, a bass? A bass. So we got a bass in the ocean, right? Bass. In they the got ocean. gills. <laughs> we got bass in the ocean. <laughs> they got gills, right? They're taking in water. Not sure what happens after that. Sure. Whales, they got gills on the head. I don't. They have a. I think they have a blowhole on the back. They got a blowhole on their back. Takes or, in water. Or, or, actually, I don't know. Whales might just come up and go. <gasps> <laughs> Go back down. Okay, dolphins. Dolphins blow. Dolphins are big. So they got, 
So they can breathe under. Where do they sleep? I think they just sleep like this. <laughs> Isn't that kind of terrible? Holy shit. No. Whales and dolphins have to sleep on Earth above water. I don't think so. They have to. I don't think so. Yes, they do. No, I don't think so. Because they have to come up for air. I think it's like a hybrid, like a small hibernation process. They like, would drown. They take like one big gulp of air no. and they go to sleep. That's like, why dolphins go up and down. Because they have to get air. Yeah. So you can't sleep for eight hours a day underwater if you need to come up for air. But they're not going to stay out of the water because they need to be in the water. No, they can breathe oxygen. Oh, you see it? You see dolphins in backyards on a <laughs> leash behind a fence? <laughs> People domesticate dolphins? Or just sitting there? Where do dolphins and whales sleep? In the water. They're, they can't. No, they can't. Bro. That's, that's literally like saying, we need water to survive. We need food. How the hell do we sleep? Because we don't have food when we sleep. No. I think they can do the same thing. You think? I know they can't. Name, name two dolphins you've ever met. I got, I, dolphin tried to hunt me one time at SeaWorld. Like I called up for the thing, so you and think, that was a horny dolphin. You think dolphins can be horny, but you don't think they can sleep at night? They can sleep at night on land. What is there, just rocks everywhere for them? Little buildings? Holy shit, they, they Cam. They have fish hotels. Cam, are you being stupid? There's dolphins out in the middle of the ocean. They, go, they have places to go. A hotel? <laughs> Where are they going? Islands. Island Islands. oceans. No, Islands. the little bobs in the middle Islands. of the ocean. I should get you a telescope, a couple scrolls, and a couple assistants. And you should just go. You're not trying to further shit. the conversation. You're trying to knock me down. Listen to what I'm saying. Some shit just doesn't make sense. Fish to you. Fish, I get it. Bass. They can sleep underwater because they just need their gills to open up and close up. That's I get it. No, talk to me. They get they need their gills to open and close up. Whales and dolphins need air, Cam. I agree. How do and you're saying they just sleep underwater? What do you know? This is kind of weird though. How do dolphins sleep? They enter a state of unihemispheric slow wave sleep. That's not also real. known as the USWS. They have an organization they have to sign into to go to bed. They have a sleep union. In which they close one eye, keep the other eyes shut down halfway. No, they oh they close one eye, keep one open, and shut down half of their brain at a time. Dolphins are freaks. Dolphins are insane. The other half of the brain stays awake and alert. Holy shit, that's lit. So yes, they're underwater, but they're ha they're halfway there. Half it, they they put the left side down to sleep, get some rest. Right side's just on on guard. And then the next night they probably switch. Holy shit! Could you imagine? I don't think that's true. Can you imagine we slept like this, <laughs> and we're just sitting there like half of us is getting rest. We're like <laughs> just on alert. That'd be sick. Wait, that's what it says. Google. Don't get mad at me. Do. I'm not too much understanding here. Dolphins periodically alternate which half of the brain is sleeping. Are dolphins better than humans? Are dolphins the real chosen race or or whoa? Or, uh, not ra uh, jit. No. What am I? Help me. Species. Help. Species. I'm not believing in fish gills. I'm not believing in the UWSS. <laughs> I don't care. They got. They got to get on a submarine. Oh my god! They have a fish hotel. They do. They I told check you. In. They follow the. That That's why they follow boats and people. And they want to go to the hotel because when it's time to sleep, they go. They go, hey, you got a room? They I've always go. said dolphins are the P. Diddy's of the ocean. They are nasty creatures. You can keep it. <laughs> the You Should Know Podcast. This episode of the You Should Know Podcast is brought to you by our friends at HelloFresh. Some of you might not know what HelloFresh is. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Make delicious food a priority this summer with quick, convenient recipes delivered right to your door. Just choose your meals and select a delivery date. HelloFresh handles all the meal planning, shopping, and most of the prep, so all you have to do is open your box and get cooking. Cut down on time spent in the kitchen so you can get back outside, enjoy summer, all the sunshine, thanks to HelloFresh's quick and easy recipes. You know I have a hard time cooking. I don't like going to the grocery store. I don't know what to do. It's like a, a puzzle. Every time I'm in there, I'm like, does that go? Does that go on top of there? With HelloFresh, they make it simple. They send everything to my doorstep that helps because I don't like leaving the house. I don't know really how to cook. I don't want to put stuff together. But HelloFresh sends everything so conveniently. And whenever it, I do cook HelloFresh, 
It tastes fantastic. It tastes so good. And the big cards, the recipe cards, tells you exactly what you're eating, shows you the picture, shows you the step-by-step -step and the ingredients needed. It's just, it's amazing, guys. Go to HelloFresh.com slash YSK apps for free appetizers for life. One appetizer item per box while subscription is active. That's free appetizers for life at HelloFresh.com slash YSK apps. Everybody enjoy America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. Speaking of nasty creatures. Me. No. Good morning. I love you. I love you too. Speaking of nasty creatures. Hello. When, when we were in D.C., right? Yes. We went to a sports bar to watch the Mavericks game. Oh, yes, we did. Okay. It's a cool sports bar. Food, kind of shit. Not going to lie to you. Environment what? fun. That was a great place. I liked it. My pizza was fantastic. The burger we had at the other place in Philly, 10 times better. Burger in Philly, 10 times better. Anyway, speaking of creatures, we are watching the NBA Finals in every other TV there was some like ESPN 8, the Ocho Entertainment on. Did you see all those sports? No. Don't tell. Oh my God. Oh, oh the you're that place. There was, a, there was one, it was like a human mountain. There was like, it was 30 on 30 men. And there was one guy sitting on his butt on the top of a pole. They all had helmets on. They're throwing right hooks. That sport ends. The next one was who can pull better. Yeah. Guys sitting down pulling rods. The next one was a cheese wheel down the hill. Did you see the one It was the wife carrying race? The wife carrying yeah. race. They're dipping their broads in mud. And then the next one was an ear string contest. Contest. Yeah, they put string on ear and see you could pull. F what channel is that? Okay, if you could create a weird sport, what would it be? I oh shit. Yeah, if I could create a weird sport, what would it be? Mine. I'm a good. I'm a fan of relays. I love a good relay. Yeah. Put the brain under some some circumstance. I, it'd be an extreme sport. It would have water and land. Okay. It'd be some sort of relay, mm -hmm. and it would have to be there'd have to be some external factor, mm -hmm. whether it's intoxication. Whether it's like you spin your head on a baseball bat. Basically, how well can you complete something in different terrains while you're not all there? That would be my sport. Mine would be the great smell. <laughs> it would be the great smell. Basically, what you do is there's a line of shit that stinks. And you each each one, you start with the, the least smelly one. You <laughs> the great smell. And you got to sniff that, John. Right? Oh, no. It's like hot ones for your nose. No, 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 no. When you originally said it, I thought it was contestants come in as stinky as they can be. And whoever solicits the best reaction wins that, that night's prize. Because you could sign up if you, had a, if you had a messed up nose, right? Deviated yeah. septum. Something's not working. You could, you could be right on some horse shit and not yeah. smell it. You yeah. can go oh, on to the next. But imagine... <laughs> You sign up, you have a week to get as nasty as you can. <laughs> and then you show up in front of 100 people. Uh -huh. And whoever can make most people gag yeah. wins. I would be the Michael Phelps of the Great Smell. <laughs> you could get some funding in there. You'd Oh, my God, you'd have sponsors. I'd have to be, I'd be Gabby Douglas. They'd have to change the rules for you me. You would have a jersey with 40 different sponsors because they believe in you so much. You'd be like, and? <sighs> and it literally goes, <sighs> you need a doctor. I'm sweating a lot. Honestly, I'm sweating a lot. During the DC show, I looked at you and I almost took a break in the show and said, "Go change." Would you believe me if I said that shirt is still wet? You haven't washed it yet? No. And you call me nasty? I took it out of my bag, threw it in the dirty clothes. It's still wet. Oh my god! And and on and we went to. There's going to be a whole live show recap at the Philly show. Our stage was infiltrated with bugs. Oh my God! There is a bug. There's a small dragon on the stage. That one bitch was big, <laughs> big as hell. Like, you could easily flick it, but I was like, "We're performing." Like I can't. But I'm watching. It, it was following me. But then I had a <laughs> <laughs> the great smell. Season one winner. It was following him. Non-humans are like, "Damn, that's good." They're just flying around you, waiting to bite. <laughs> yeah. They but come I, to me and they're like, "Smells too good." But I've been I've been tracked by mosquitoes recently, right? And I have a question about mosquitoes. What time up? <sighs> What does that mean you've been tracked by? Now? I think I'm on an app. I'm on a like mosquito they're going, app. They're going back and writing on a clipboard. They're like, this bastard's good. I'm a, I'm a lottery pick for the mosquito draft. They're like, we need him. We could start the second Ebola with him. Second what? Ebola? Ebola. Ebola. You remember when Ebola was a big concern Bro, in the school Ebola system? Ebola hit right up the street from us. Really? The, one, the, guy, the guy that came over yeah. to the United States... 
patient zero in the United States was literally in Frisco. That's crazy. In Frisco. I remember this girl, she got lice, right? And then she got over lice. She came back to school and she had the swine flu. She's all right. <laughs> but we were like, she should get put down. Yo, At that like, point, she's send, a concern to us. You're like, send her to boarding school. She does not need to be in this class. She should not be with Miss Winkler. You know, I had the swine flu. Swear to God. Swear. You are a piggly bitch. <laughs> I swear to God, I had it though. Yeah. I, I couldn't leave my room for four days. How do you get the swine flu? I have no clue. You were out there fucking with some pigs, weren't stop you? It. Stop it. Oink. <laughs> I'm kidding. Stop. Stop. My grandma no. loved pigs and she's dead now. It's a fun fact. Betterhelp.com. Oh, yeah. No, I'm all right. No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Bring it in. Yeah. So the mosquitoes tracking you on the She had cancer. <laughs> What? It's my grandma. How are you going to be offended? That's how I get over things. Laughter. Yeah. Laughter is, is often a coping mechanism. Fun fact. Last time I saw her. <laughs> please stop. Please stop. Please stop. It's literally the last conversation we had. Please, I'm going to get sad. <laughs> you look deranged and I'm trying to remain. I up. love my grandma. Okay. No. Watch what you say. <laughs> okay. It was the last convo we had and she was there in the bed and I was like, ah, oh, this is tough to watch. <laughs> she, she could talk still. <laughs> And we had the lights on in her room, right? And I gave her a hug, and I knew this is it. This is the last time I'm seeing Meemaw, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Meemaw, I love you. And then uh, I go, oh, you want me to cut the light out before, she, before, before we go? And she goes, I wish God would cut the light out on me. And I said, that's how I want you to go out. Solid woman there. CJ's not having fun. <laughs> CJ hates this. What? It's my grandma. Yeah. It's That's good. That's yeah. a good woman. Strong woman. And then whenever we went to her funeral, it was a bunch of old white people I never met. And they were like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, who are you? Yeah. I was like, I don't know you, dude. That was me and my, that was me and my grandpa's funeral. Oh, boy. I was crying big time. Uh, uh, Toughing up. No, I was crying big time kidding. at my grandpa's funeral. I didn't cry. I don't cry when I'm supposed to. <laughs> I have like an off-centered cry. Like, I'll be like, at the funeral, I'm like, I'm not crying. I'm sad, but I'm not crying. Then I'll be making a PB and J, and I lose it. <laughs> like, the microwave beeps, and I'm like, It's the fact you said you don't cry when you're supposed to. Yeah. It's like your timer's up. It's like, yeah. you, the, your timer for crying is on Eastern Standard. Yeah. But you're living in Pacific, and it's like, it, it's, it's just not matching. because people are looking at me to cry, and I'm like, you're not going to get that satisfaction. But mosquitoes, <laughs> right? <laughs> do mosquitoes wake up and they're like, I'm a mosquito. Do they have that cognitive reasoning? <laughs> you need help? Oh, no, for sure. You are all over the place. But to answer, I'd say no. I think mosquitoes only know mosquitoes. They go to work, they go to school, <laughs> they hang out, and they live a mosquito life. That's crazy to me. I don't think they wake up. Like, I think the closest... Elephants and monkeys. Elephants are brilliant, beautiful creatures. Are they, though? They can hear someone coming from two miles away at the bottom of their feet. <laughs> I, I hate swear you. No, they don't. Yes, they can. Okay, then why then do you... Go, boom, and they're like, they, go they go, warriors, two miles left. Don't you think... Tribe! They wouldn't get so clapped by trophy hunters if that were a fact? Well, we have capabilities to snipe from far away, and we sit there and... From wait. two miles? I mean, yeah, maybe not Chris Kyle, but <laughs> I'm saying, like, they could pull up at 8 a.m. and they just hold their post. The elephants come in. They haven't moved at all. You don't think somebody's moving for eight hours? You clearly don't know what hunting is. Do you understand that? Cam, are you are you a little dumb? Have you ever hunted, CJ? Be honest. No. Okay. I don't. I don't believe in hunting. It's a little weird to me. People go in deer stands, yeah. and they will sit there all day long, Cam, just to shoot a deer. Not moving for eight hours. Peyton, do you <sighs> not know what hunting is? Cam, I do know. There is. They go in their stands. And they literally will have a phone, some snacks, and their rifle. And they will be in that stand from probably 6 a.m. to 3, 4 p.m. I get it. PM. I get it. Being in the same spot for eight hours. There is not a human being on this earth that hunts that will not move for eight hours. Okay. not mo I'm saying they're not moving location. Okay. I'm saying not they move. They might unzip the pants, piss out the side of the that stand. That takes a lot of movement. They might take a beef jerky That stand. takes a lot of movement. I, okay, yeah, so you're ones like this. Exactly what I'm saying. And so you're saying elephants are these god creatures that they can are. hear something from two miles away, some movement. Me and CJ watched one paint. It's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. So you're saying elephants are these smart creatures that can Very hear smart. stuff from two miles away, but they're still getting hunted? I didn't say they can hear it. I said they can feel it. Then why are they getting hunted? 
Peyton, if you, if, Peyton, I could tell you there's a guy downstairs and you're still gonna get clapped. I'm they not can, an elephant. Exactly. You're a human. <laughs> and I don't know Elephants somebody's downstairs with my feet. Hear me. They can my feet, feet are a little numb recently. They can feel You need to get that checked. Stop eating sugar. Here we go. <laughs> they can feel it, right? Mm hmm Wavelengths, rumblings in the earth. Goes up there, hits their little tummy, suffers in the brain. Do we need to move? Do we need to stay? Do we need to regroup? What do we need to do? But if they're already in the stand, I'm saying imagine the stand. They're in the stand. They get there at 2 a.m. Yes. The elephants, they know they're going to come by about 10 they can move in the stand. It's not moving the ground, the earth. I'm saying if they're pulling up in a Jeep Wrangler 05, wheel on the wrong side because they might be in a different place in the world. I don't think. I think you're telling fallacy, Cam. No. I don't think this I elephant. I don't think they, you know or respect elephants. I think you have I've this false three. sense. You have this false sense of like I know shit because I read it, Cam. You believe everything. You just said fishes check into hotels. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit that comes out of your because mouth. Because I think independently. You think of Twitter. You're like, I read it on Twitter, it's a fact. Yes or no, are you a victim of Twitter? I'm a big victim of Twitter. I hate that shit. If community notes didn't exist, you might be the stupidest person I've ever met. No, no, no. Rewind. Yes. Because you, all this independent thinking and shit, you think you're like a judge or something. You know what's what. Ah, y'all are sheep. I'm the shepherd, master, lord, wise I don't think I'm man, lord. Viscount. That's what you are. But your shit's dumb. No. It's let's, not. let's call a buck a buck, spade a spade. Mm -hmm. You don't even know how hunting works. You didn't know fish were animals. You think cereal is different? Stop. <laughs> All these things. No, I think independently. Fun fact about hunting, my friend Cooper, redneck, right? His, at, his, at his family's house, they used to have a bunch of bucks on the wall, right? And I had this weird thing with stuffed bucks on the wall, and I would always want to feel the inside of their nose, so I'd finger the shit out of a stuffed buck nose all the time. It's hard. And my grandpa had one of those dancing basses on the wall. You press a button. Oh, and it's like, I love that. You, <laughs> you hit it perfectly. That's exactly where they dance. They go, and they're like. And then my. God, I love that. And thing. then my basketball coach, Big Tim, he was like 400 pounds, 6'5. <laughs> Big human. He died. And then my grandpa, he's always been a little twisted up in the head. He got a, a little like statue of Biggie Smalls and he goes, they're selling, they're selling uh, no. statues of Big Tim. And I bought one. And I was like, Grandpa, that's Biggie Smalls. He goes, who's that? And I was like, it's, it, that's, that's Tim. You're right, that's Tim. Might be a little racist, not sure. But <laughs> is it? Well, never seen my grandpa without a cowboy hat either. My bad. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to that guy, I guess. <laughs> my bad. My basketball coach, Big E, died too. May God rest Big E and Big Tim soul. They're probably up there eating some food, <laughs> hanging out, watching hoops. Anyway. He had a size 16 croc. You ever seen that? Whew. Put Preston to shame. He had calluses out the ass. <laughs> Don't talk he about Big Tim. Hey, anyway, Big E. That was probably one of my first times introduced to firearms. May God rest his he soul. He gave you a gun. <laughs> no. We would travel. I was the token white on the yeah. team. They would always pop trunk, unzip, show me some machinery, and say, hey, Cam, we good, man. Yeah. Zip back up. Hey, go in there and play good. Yeah. I was like, aye, aye, coach. That's how you, it, was a, it was strange. That's how you know you're on a good AU team when I there's was, guns. Everywhere. I was about 14, and I was yeah. like, that's scary and cool. I just thought about something about you that I don't like. Because I'm going to your house, right? Mm -hmm. I do honestly have a question about you. Do you have bad enamel? Or did you just, did you have a bad surgery I don't know about? What? I went into your pantry, right? I went into your pantry. Okay. There is an ungodly amount of oatmeal in your pantry. Because I like, oh, I told you the other day. I don't know why you don't believe me. Oatmeal is probably my first, second favorite breakfast. Easy, quick to cook. Tastes amazing. You, and you do not cook oatmeal. Cam, for as much oatmeal as you have, I have never seen you cook oatmeal. I have never seen you put oatmeal you in the microwave. Oh my God. I, I, first off, I don't cook it in the microwave. Who cooks oatmeal in the microwave? Unless you have the little to-go cups, the easy ready cups where you just pour water in it. I make my oatmeal on the stove. How you make oatmeal? Holy shit, you put, you, you skillet your oatmeal. Skillet my oatmeal. Is it a pork chop? I don't put it in a skillet, you freak. I put it in a pot. You don't even know what oatmeal is? You boil water, drop the oats in. I've never seen anybody put oatmeal in a pot. Who are you? Are you Aunt Jemima? What? Is that not okay to say? I, that's fine. Oatmeal is on a stove, in a pot, not a skillet, you creep. Cam, yes First, or no? How many times in your life have you made oatmeal? Over, over 400. Holy shit. Easily. 
Every time I've been around you're you. You're not at my house at 8 a.m. Yes, I am. When? I've never spent the night. How many times have I spent the night at your house? A lot. Since I've met you. And because I know Hundreds you don't like, times. and because I know you don't like oatmeal, I don't make I love oatmeal. I love oatmeal. I love cooking oats. No, you don't. Oh my God, Cam. You just said you've never seen anybody make oatmeal. How do you like it if you've never seen anybody make it? Because no one makes oatmeal like that. They put it in the microwave. No one puts oatmeal on a skillet. When you're a lazy, stupid idiot that doesn't know how to cook. Cam, what kind of oatmeal do you make? You eat your ramen without water. You're a freak. You I, eat shit weird. Because I like chips. Exactly. No, oatmeal. You put water in pot, boil it, dash of salt, oats in it, quick oats. You have never it. done that. I did it this morning. No, you did. Oh, like, Cam. Cam, on Jesus Christ, have you done that? On Jesus Christ, I did it this morning. Cam, Cam, you have never, ever, and I've known you for like almost a Why decade, we, Cam. You have never done that. No one does that. Every, that's how you make oatmeal. This is how you make oatmeal. How do you make grits? Put grits in the microwave? You don't have to act like you're about the culture, Cam. Talk about oatmeal. We get it. You like black people. Cool. You don't have to pretend. God damn. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying they're both cornmeal products. Listen, that's white. <laughs> There back, you go. You back ruined to it. White. Listen, oh, no, shut no, up. shut you. Shut, shut up. 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 Oatmeal is made. <laughs> I gotcha. Oatmeal's made. Yeah, itch, you little creep. Oatmeal is made. Inside my hat's yellow. <laughs> Oatmeal is made on the stove in a pot when you're making it. Raw oats. There is, however. Holy shit! Are you a farmer? <laughs> you make oatmeal with raw oats? Yes. That's how you buy it! Unless you buy the packets. That's the only the way cups. you make oatmeal. That's the only kind of oatmeal I've ever seen in my life. That's the only kind of oatmeal I eat. How can you make pancakes? How do you make waffles? In a, on the they, stove. They so <laughs> you make... Oat wow. <laughs> Wait. Let's take a second. So that you can make oatmeal... You can't make it raw. But you can make pancakes and waffles raw? But they also sell frozen ones. I'm saying it's you. I'm talking shit. about you. They make different packaging and different ways to make it for convenience. I'm talking Raw about you. Oats. I'm talking about you. I have three tubes of oats in my pantry now. First, you just said first it. First of all, you're pushing 30 and your mom makes your oatmeal for you. I'm not pushing 30. <laughs> my mom makes the best oatmeal. That's why I asked her to make and it And your I mom makes it in the microwave. Oh my God, my mom would slap you if she was here right now. She wouldn't. She's not a fan of violence. I, Lisa, I love you. We still need to work on that. But... Cam, I've been oh there when God. you're like, mommy, 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 can you make me oatmeal? I've seen her rip the packet, put it in a bowl, put water in there, throw it in the microwave. I have seen it with my eyes, Cam. No. And that is a generational thing that was passed down to you. You don't have to act better than thou. If it was generate, they probably didn't have the quick and easy shit in their generation. They had raw You oats. act like your mom's from BC. <laughs> but I'm saying, oatmeal. I'm going to tell you, you put the water in a pot, dash the salt, you crank that salt. Wait for it to boil, drop the oats, stir for a minute, take it off the heat for five, cover it, you have oatmeal. You're acting like you still make oatmeal like a pilgrim. Bro. You are a man with what an do you iPhone. What you eat for breakfast? I don't really eat breakfast. It's, so shut up, because oats on the... the I, why am I getting... Why, you, you okay, Cam's lying in front of me, the You Should Know Podcast family, and Jesus, that he doesn't... That he makes that he makes oatmeal on a skillet, let's dog. Just, let's just ask this. Let, you, I don't know what skillet's oatmeal. That's what you just said. Skillet. Oh my god. What's the difference between a skillet and a pot? A pot, skillet, skillet, pot. A pot oh is my for god. Deeps, so sauce, you you turn water, your you turn noodles, your oatmeal. Oatmeal. Yes. Oh, you are a liar. Oh my Cam, god. You do, do not I need a video this for you? It is. You can video for I me, but you don't morning. do that. No, you don't, Cam. I've waking up with you after all the times of cuddles and kisses. You wake up, you say, baby, you want a sandwich or you want oh, some oatmeal? Okay. And I okay. say, baby, I want an oatmeal. Okay. And then I hear that microwave, ding, ding, ding. I don't buy the prepackaged oatmeal. You are a liar, Cameron. What what flavors? Um, the, the, the maple, the cinnamon maple with the green apples. Oh, I ate those. Huh? This is where your confusion is. I ate those a lot in Seminole State. That is 100% fact because they had it in the calf and they allowed me to take some extra. You when I have a fully developed and equipped kitchen, you make oats on the stove. When I went to your apartment in Arkansas when you had a crackhead living next to you, you would microwave your oats. No, I, incorrect. You, incorrect. You want to be incorrect. so much better than you are. Incorrect. What points do I get for making oatmeal? That's why I'm asking you why you're lying. You don't do that. Peyton. You don't do that. You eat pure beef for breakfast or nothing at all. You're not allowed to speak on my breakfast ever again. Let's just set that straight. Yeah, let's, take a deep breath, hippie shirt. Let's do people's favorite segment that we haven't done in a long time. 
It's time for <sighs> Pop Culture Pain and Cam. <laughs> pop Culture Pain and Cam. Bow! I got a pop culture. Yeah. And it's a pop culture that I really excited. You can see inside of me like this. <laughs> you can see. Your moose knuckle. You can is see stop, me. Stop, stop, I'm going to be on that website again. Stop. <laughs> and you're right. It is that much. That's a crazy. Wh- Go. It is that much. Stop. St- get your fingers out of there. What are you? That is dark. That is some dark skin down there. That is some dark meat. Your, your leg is all the white meat and the breastuses. That inner webbing where you were just slowly touching, that was dark meat. If you had to exchange one body part of mine and you could use it, what would it be? Stop. You could t- No, you could use my arms. I got good arms. I good legs. Arms. Uh, abs. I don't want your legs. Chest. I like my ass. Uh, I didn't say ass. What did you say? Chest. No, you said, oh, abs. 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 I'd probably take... Maybe head size. I'd take your head, your skull, use it. I'm good. I'm good. Too much. I'm good there. I'm straight. Hey, I got my bases covered. Okay. Ask the wife. Whoa. Pop culture. <laughs> Ask Peyton. Whoa. Pop culture. I finished the show. Oh, God. Which one? And it is probably one of the best shows I've I seen know what you're say. in a long time. I know what you're going to say. Your Honor on Netflix... I am standing by this forever. This is not an ad. We're not paid. I don't know nobody over there. <laughs> Couldn't tell you a singer. <laughs> if you have a Netflix account, or if you don't, go get a Netflix account to watch Your Honor. There's only two seasons, and I like this because they ended. They didn't drag the show on because it was. It could have been three seasons, but they stopped it after season two. There is, it's very rare when I get hooked on a show in the first episode. That's why I stopped watching Bridgerton because I was like, what is this? It's so lame. <laughs> no disrespect. Everyone loves Bridgerton except you. You only like it because you were forced to watch it and you are... I was forced to watch it with my wife, but then I watched it and I liked it. Continue. Your Honor. Your Honor. It's about this judge <laughs> and his son, right? <laughs> his son gets in a hit and run accident... Kills this kid, right? I was not laughing at that. I swear to God, I was laughing at that. I was laughing because I realized how intimately I was looking at you. Yeah. I literally was like this. <laughs> like, in your soul. And Hit and run accident, kills a kid accidentally. Uh, his dad is a judge, a really famous judge in New Orleans. Mm. They Ooh. find out that the kid that was hit in the hit and run is the son of one of the biggest mob bosses in the state. Oh, that's a big L. Hold and that L. Now, the GGs. judge and the son have to hide all this evidence, do all this, and it is a, it gets so deep, so intricate. It is the best show, and it is the dude from Breaking Bad, what's his name? Um, uh. Dude from Breaking Bad, not Woody Harrelson. No. God. <laughs> what was, what's Brian Cranston. Brian, Brian Cranston. You said Brandon Cryan. <laughs> Brian Cranston. It's such a good show. Uh, two seasons, I highly suggest it. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen. Uh, Your Honor on Netflix. God, I love it. I'm going to start If you're on and, Snapchat, you've seen me talk about me it. Me and Liv are going to start it because we just finished Bridgerton because they dropped the four and more you'll episodes. be like, now finally a show for boys. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, my pop culture with Peyton and Cam is the Dallas Mavericks. I want to address this quickly. It's probably over by the time this comes out. It might be over by the time this comes out, but... Regardless, we made it to the finals, so we're better than all of your other favorite teams combined, except the Celtics. If you're a Celtics fan, you're the only one that are allowed to talk. But also, you had an easy-ass path to the finals, not discrediting anything. You were the best team in the NBA the whole season. However, your playoff run was very, very easy. It was tainted by injuries from opposing teams. When you get to the finals, you are just clearly the better team than us. Luka is hurt, receiving shots, pain-killing shots in the ribs before every contest. So, all, all this talk about his defense and shit, the boy's hurting. He's going to have surgery. He's also hurt on the legs and shit. It's bad. Whatever. If you won, congrats. But we still made it, so I'm still a Luca, proud man. MFF for real. MFFL. Luca. Cam is a Luca meat writer. He'll never see say anything bad about Luca. No, he is, he is annoying as shit. So, I love him because he's on my team, and he's arguably, arguably the best player in the world, but he needs to shut he's up He's the best the offensive rest. player. One of the best offensive players in the world. One of the best scorers in the world. He's yes. not one of the best basketball players in the world. He is yes, a he cone. Is. He cannot play defense to save his life. His team defense, That's not true. His team defense is f***ing awful. That's not true. Never, you can't, never, Cam, you, you, that's why you get excited when you see him make a good play on defense. You're like, <gasps> yeah. you shouldn't do that. 
when he gets if a you're steal. one of the if you're a great defender or even a good defender you don't do that you but don't get excited okay. when you see it. he is not a good defender and you can have you can have your argument of it's because he doesn't want to exert because he's so good offensively that mean it doesn't matter it's not even that he's just not a good defender his rotations are horrible coming from somebody and I'm not a bat like I was not great offensively I hung my hat on the I was a great defender mm -hmm. coming from somebody who was a great defender I can tell who's a good defender and who is not. He, he, is, he is not he a is, good defender at all. I'm not saying he's Kawhi Leonard. He's not a good defender at all. He's a lot better than people are saying defensively. He's also hurt. Cam, I'm talking about outside of him being hurt. In he's season. not terrible. He's a bad defender. He's not a bad defender. Why is he not? He's not a bad why? defender. Tell me why he's not. Because he's not. First off, the, the no. All tell the, me why he's not. The blow buys in the in the so they were doing this is too much for y'all, but they're doing like bump switches. Yes. That was fine against the Timberwolves. They're still doing it on the Celtics because, I don't know why, that shit's bad. Because they're just hitting threes out the ass. But he's not just one-on-one -on -one Tell defender. me why he's not a bad defender. Because his position is not bad. His positioning is not bad on defense. Is his team defense good? It's not Is his off-ball defense good? It's not terrible. His rotations are pretty bad in this series. That's what I'm saying. All you the time. That's what I'm saying. You can't take one series and be... CJ, CJ is, is Luka Doncic a good defender? Yes. How? Thank you. Thank you. I was just about to say during the Clippers, he was fantastic on ball defense. You, fantastic. So you, so you can say, so you can say, if I for a series, if I averaged more than I've ever had, right? If I averaged more than I ever had, but major eighty percent of the other season, I just was an okay offensive player. Am I a great offensive player because I had one stint where I did great? You could say it, and you could say it. Yes, you could say overlooked. You could say it opposite. You can say it oppositely. If you're if you're a decent defender, but then you do really bad in the playoffs, are you all of a sudden a terrible defender? I am saying Luka Doncic from the if we were to just his take, one on one percentage, one on one field bro, goal opponent percentage. I'm not a stats percentage. guy. I'm not a stats guy. That's what you have to go. No, it's not. No, it's not. If you're a stats guy, there's there's shit players with great stats that exactly. don't impact the game at all. You can't be a stats player. First off, let's not act like it, uh, like NBA is 50 percent offense, 50 percent defense. It's not. Offense is like 80. He's a cone. He is a literal cone and a liability on defense. But he, he averages, will never but he be averages. one of the greatest ever because of his defense. I'm talking about through the whole season. Bro. We need to just have a, a sports a breakdown sports podcast. Luca, I love Luca. I love him. He's one of the best offensive players I have ever like seen. It, damn it. I'm Represent just not a, your team. I just I just you red coat. I just don't have to pop him out of me like you do. I don't have to pop I don't I don't have you to take do. him out either. You do. You I get, I you get, keep Luca glossy. Bro, no. Yes, you do. I say he needs to shut his damn mouth and he has to be better on defense if we okay. want to win. Okay. But he's still averaging damn near a 30 point triple double. I'm not talking about that. He is a great offensive player. He's a exactly. great player. So there you go. He but is no, shit on there defense. You go. He's, he's a, great, a offensive great player. player. No, he's a great he's player. He's a great offensive player. He's a great player. Great offensive he's player. A great, he's the best player on our team who's in the final. 100%. He's so a great offensive talking, player. He's a great player of basketball. He's a great offensive player. Is rebounding, is, is most of his rebounds offensive? Mm. He's a great offensive player. So then why does he average like nine rebounds? He's a great offensive player. He can't guard a soul. That's, he that's can't guard so a soul. Bad. That's so false. He can't guard a soul. That's false. He can't guard a soul. That's false. Anyway, y'all just love Luca. Cam, Cam. If Luca got You're hating, if Luca, if Luca was in front of Cam and Luca pulled his pants down, Cam would get red in the face. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Luca is not a bad enough of that. Regardless. And that was pop, pop culture. Pay and Nick Cam. Pop, pop culture. Pay and Nick Cam. Bow. Get us out of here, Colas Cameron. Appreciate you coming back. to so was, yeah, if you're audio, I apologize. That that was a that was a banger. Appreciate you for coming back. Episode 118, Chicago. We are pre-recording this, but we'll see when a little bit this will come out afterwards. We hope the show was amazing and we absolutely loved meeting all of you. All the information you need to everything to Patreon, Discord, Twitch. Facebook, Snapchat, uh, link for the tickets because there's still more shows. Phoenix and Vegas, we're coming at you next. All of that is in the description below. Make sure you check out all the links there. All the information you need is right there. We we love you so much. <laughs> I said we plug, we plug you. you so much. We love you so much, and we appreciate you coming back from 118. 119 will be next week. So this week's secret code to confuse the casuals and get your good karma. Tell me what it is. Got it. C W G. C W G. C W G. Ooh, Chicago was great.
Damn, boy. Oh, oh my down. God. That we don't me, know, though. Okay. That got Here me a little hype. I have faith in y'all, Chicago. If you let me down, I'll probably take my shirt off and throw it at one of you. Just and then don't I'll don't say F you to Kim out. or call him a B word. Yeah, <laughs> Philly, you're mean. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. Remember, one out of two claw bears don't make it home to Christmas. That was one of the best ones. Oh, and I fumbled. And we will see you. Hello? Next time. No, he can defend. I promise.